Okay, so guys, you know, um, we're kind of getting to the home run there, and I just want to kind of thank you um, for, for, what, for what would mean, for me was a kind of sparkling and, and interesting exchange. You know, when, when, we, when we set this forum up, you know, I had little idea how the concept would actually develop. Now we're running kind of five major similar forums in five different countries in the next four months. I am, you know, out there looking at, and many com countries and companies are asking us, you know, help us in, in relation to this area of innovation. So thank you for making this first one interesting and so enlightening. When we set up Black Swan Innovation, I personally had little understanding of the impact it would actually have. When we started iCubed with our government services, we had no idea that the Malaysian or that the Australian governments would come, would be the first ones to actually come calling. Little did we know then that you know, we would gain the respect and attention of some of the leading gurus on innovation from around the world who have agreed to sit on our board. Um, so today, to me, how can Ireland take advantage of the opportunity discussed and place itself at the, at the centre of the innovation storm, or be the innovation hub? All our trends tell us that past performance is no guarantee of future success. And having all of the right ingredients does not mean that you can cook a great cake. Our Ireland must maintain its, its, its faith in, in its core strengths and leverage those to make itself more conducive to innovation. You know, I see the culture of Ireland as entrepreneurial. All right, but this can only be grown with a clear and cohesive strategy on innovation policy system. Uh, and one that does not sit with the kind of, and we talked about it, the domain expert control. Right? But we need to be able to interweave, intervene, or interweave, 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 I get the word right, <laughs> too many vowels for me, interweave all of the conflicting agendas quickly in a cohesive manner. You know, so for me, key points that, that I noted was around collaboration. We must partner and collaborate in a, in a very strategic and consistent manner. We must have focus. We must keep the entrepreneur and the enterprise right at the centre of our focus. You know, education. We talked about education and the need for changes in education. There needs to be a huge emphasis on education, where creativity and innovation are the core of the curriculum and where there needs to be investment in those and perhaps in entrepreneurial skills. You know, transformation. We must have major changes in the way we do things. You know, the saying, and I use it many times, we always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got. You know, capital, the market has to be made available. All right, capital, the market has to make available in a simple, all right, a simple and cohesive manner, access to smart capital. Uh, it's one of the big challenges that we have. Government, government bodies, you know, they should be the lightning rod for innovation. And that's where they should, they should <coughs> see their, their role. You know, all three legs of the school, business, academia and government, they need to work together so with no, no leg stronger or weaker than the other. You know, I get involved in many change programs and people say, hey, I want a leadership program. So we'll put all of our money into that. And they forget, it is not about just one siloed solution. It's about how do we get the balance right. So business needs to engage more and take more responsibility. <coughs> Research by universities is absolutely essential. However, business must lead in the role of applied research and commercialization. Academia, to me, needs to wake up to the fact that they have to share in the responsibility of a collective output, and that is not just about research. Right? Government needs to be proactive as a facilitator in building transformational programs to enable innovation to occur that will yield social and wealth objectives. Collectively, we need to work together to seize the current opportunity. Carpe diem, carpe diem to implement well-funded transformation programs. We need to be prepared to stand up and be measured because we have the edge and we're ready. And we talked a lot about measurements. We need to make sure that we're measuring the right things, not just measurement for measurement's sake. I'd like to thank all of the contributors, Zine, Dar, Liz, Frank. You know, I think they've done a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving your time. Round of applause. <laughs> I'd like to kind of say finally, you know, Ireland is well positioned as a European leader on innovation, in my opinion. And let us not forget the Irish Spurs. Now it is the time to be brave. No longer can we look to, uh, look to others to help ease the pain. 
And I think that's where we're at. We're looking for somebody to ease the pain. There is no silver bullet. No longer can we expect the world to stand still while we try and catch up. I passionately believe it is the brave who will win, those that get it first. You know, the world has changed, and we're seeing a new era, right? Traditional thinking needs a new way of being applied. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you will say, I don't buy this. And I'd say, great. You know, my, my task is not to get you to buy what we're saying. My task and my desire is to get you to think about what we're saying, right? Because there are those who shape events. There are those who respond to events. And there are those who sit and watch events unfold and say, wow, when did that happen, right? Well, things are happening. We're crossing that valley of death that I talked about earlier on, and so only some will make it to the other side. We're seeing both the emerging and traditional economies fast adopting the mantle of innovation stars. I was with MIT, who are doing a huge amount of work with the US government, and many of the things that were talked about today are being talked about there, but they're actually starting to implement them, right? And that's the scary bit, and we think they're slow, right? Ireland can be a star, however, there's a transformational wave happening. Right? And we've talked about it. In Black Swan, we see it, for example, in Singapore, in South Korea, in Finland, and even the lumbering giant that is the US. The Black Swan model is one that I've described about transformation. Not playing at it, not tidying around the fringes, not talking as we behave in a completely different way. Right? We aim to take business forward. We aim to turbo boost innovation capability in both business and government. We believe that much of what we talked about today, uh, we would love to talk about to you tomorrow, all right? And uh, I'll be getting your telephone numbers and ringing you up to discuss it with you. That's the, uh, that's the sales bit. But as, a, as, a, as an Irishman who for 25 years has worked abroad and is exceptionally proud of my nationality and my heritage, I feel there is a key role for Ireland in this new age. But that, out, that outcome for Ireland is hardly certain. If we can leave, leverage the excellent Irish capabilities, together with the right supporting policies, and unleash the, uh, unleash the power of enterprise creativity, then the forces of innovation, which are self-reinforcing, whose effects are cumulative and impact exponential, then we can become the global centre for innovation, or the global hub for innovation. I'm changing my language as I go, uh, Frank. And in conclusion, finally, was just a, a holding position. Right. Let me say that Black Swan and I cubed, thank you for your time and your contribution. It's been, and you've been a truly wonderful audience, a very Irish event. Let's make the next one a transformational one. For me, on behalf of Black Swan, on behalf of the speakers, on behalf of iCubed, I thank you for your time. I thank you for your attention. Thank you.